before Obama spoke, what did you, what had you hoped? He well, I had say. I had hoped that Obama, President Obama, would give a signal to his negotiators to be more flexible, um, so that at least we can then try to get the uh, agreement we need here in Copenhagen. But I didn't get that sense, and I'm not sure if I'm reading correctly or wrongly. Uh, his statements were okay, good, but they were not necessarily inspiring. I mean, I've heard more inspiring speeches from President Obama. And as I said, they did not give a signal uh, of how to move forward, okay. of whether we should move forward and how to move forward. Okay, so uh, do you think that his speech moved this negotiation forward? No, do you think it took it I, I said no. I mean, maybe behind the scenes there's other instructions. I know he has been negotiating, so or that they're having discussions with other world leaders with this with this team. So, so maybe he gave instructions to them. So, what did you want him to be? Uh, what did you want him to instruct his negotiators to be more flexible about? What well, uh, particularly about finance. Not so much the amount because the m amount that they've given is is fine. I suppose I don't really care so much about about how big it is because developing countries cannot probably absorb very big amounts anyway. But about uh, willingness regarding financial architecture, uh, about willingness to but m to move forward on on mitigation, particularly, you know, uh, being a little bit, bit more bolder or more bolder, being bolder in, in the U.S. targets, mitigation targets. Do you think that President Obama is just not willing or do you think, what do you think is no, tying his no, hands? No, no, no. What's he is tying him up? He, no, definitely is willing and this is a much better administration than the previous administration of climate change. There's a big, big, big difference. So let's, let's be clear about that. But uh, he has a Senate and he has to ratify in that Senate whatever agreement he enters into on climate change. And, and so I guess that really clouds or colors everything that the U.S. delegation does and everything that he does with respect to climate change. Was his speech the kind of the make or break point of this, you know, no, of the outcome no, here? No, it wasn't. I would say the make or break speeches there were, in fact, uh, was in fact particularly Brazilian President Lula, who I thought gave the most inno innovative and the boldest speech there. What about his speech that you think was so innovative and bold? Of President Obama? Oh, uh, no, President, no I, President Lula. Uh, well, because first he, he said that Brazil will contribute to help develop other developing countries address climate change. That's the first time that a developing country also decides to do that. I mean, well, I guess probably not China does that as well, but 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 that's a big step for, for Brazil. The targets on, on energy and on forest, that those are of, of Brazil, those are big targets. Well, ang, ang expectation kasi kay Obama, ang pagdating niya dito parang ano siya, knight in shining armor na nakasakay ng kabayo, papunta dito at uh, will save the world with the message that and, and, uh, and commitments that he'll bring. Pero ang pagdating niya, ano, uh, isa siyang ano, isang uh, knight in shining armor na hindi kasama yung kabayo, walang armor, walang uh, weapon. So, uh, medyo uh, disappointed yung, ano, yung uh, ating uh, expectations no hindi na na reach your expectations na gusto natin makuha so where does that leave us does that mean that Copenhagen is, has failed or is failing where does that where does that leave us well di dumating si Knight eh well depends on on ano no uh, for sure ang um, Copenhagen uh, hasn't delivered what it's supposed to deliver uh, and ang expectation natin is is to come out with a really strong uh, uh, outcome na it would bring us to a pathway of, of avoiding dangerous climate change. Kaya lang yung nangyari ngayon eh, is that uh, generally the world leaders uh, fall uh, far short of what is expected of them. And that we need to continue working for the next six months or one year to come up with, with the target that we would have wanted to come out with. Okay. Is there, in all of this mess, is there anywhere that people can find hope? Uh, that the real problems will be solved someday. <laughs> well, we've seen movement from some developing countries. We've also seen some movement from developed countries. Our only hope really is uh, right now is that, uh, uh, that, that that we see that, the, that the, there's just too much politics right now and that the hope perhaps rests on, on us individuals. And next year we have to really push our, our leaders to be able to deliver what should have been delivered here in Copenhagen.